Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. A couple of days ago, I let you know that Microsoft had admitted in a post online that Windows 11 24H2 core features are broken. Things like the start menu, taskbar, explorer, and so on. And as I mentioned in the video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more information, according to Microsoft, and I'm quoting, after provisioning a PC with a Windows 11 version 24H2 monthly cumulative update released on or after July 2025, so that would be this update, KB5062553, as I mentioned previously, Various apps might experience difficulties, quote unquote. Check the video out for more information. I don't want to rehash everything because I went into quite in-depth detail. Now, just to let you know that Microsoft now has also confirmed that it's not just 24H2 that has core features broken, but also 25H2, which was this year's annual feature update. And I think it was only a matter of time before Microsoft did admit that 25H2, some of the core features are also broken because 25H2 was enabled on top of 24H2 using an enablement package because they run the same code base and the same servicing branch. So I think it was expected. So just a quick update video to keep you guys in the loop. Now, if we head over to the updated announcement, everything is basically the same as I posted previously. But Microsoft says now that it's not just version 24H2, it's also now version 25H2. So after provisioning a PC with a Windows 11, both versions enabled, monthly cumulative updates released on or after July 2025, as mentioned, KB5062553 and any later updates, XAML dependent modern apps such as Explorer, the start menu, system settings, taskbar, and Windows search might experience difficulties. This issue primarily affects a limited number of enterprise or managed environments and is very unlikely to occur on personal devices used by individuals. So that's been updated a little bit. So basically the big change now that Microsoft has updated regarding this announcement is regarding 25H2 is also affected. And the issue is primarily affecting enterprise or managed environments and is very unlikely to occur on personal devices used by individuals, which I think is good news. So basically at the end of the day, 25H2 has inherited a couple of issues from 24H2, which isn't such a good thing. Now check the video out I posted a couple of days ago because I don't want to rehash everything I mentioned in that video. But as mentioned, the cause is applications having a dependency on XAML packages are not registering in time after installing Windows updates. So that's what's causing all the issues with core components. And XAML, in case you're unaware, quick recap, stands for Extensible Application Markup Language and is a XML-based language developed by Microsoft for building user interfaces. So that's the UI. And that's why these components like your explorer.exe having difficulties as Microsoft says in some areas. And if you do find yourself with the technical know-how, Microsoft has given a couple of workarounds that you can try out to rectify the issue. And I'll leave this post in the description if you'd like to come check this out because it, because it entails using PowerShell scripts and so on and commands to try and fix some of these issues. But Microsoft does say that it's working on a resolution and will update this article as more information becomes available. And obviously, if and when that happens, I'll post and let you guys know. So just wanted to do a quick update. It's not just 24H2. I think it was expected seeing that 25H2 is built on top of 24H2 that it would more or less be experiencing the same issues. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.